Hello and welcome back. My name is Loopy and today I will be showing you guys how to make a very, very fun slime block elevator in Minecraft. So, without further ado, let's get in to this video. So, here it is, fully constructed, and as you can see, it is humongous. However, it doesn't have to be that big. It can literally just go up to this first floor here. In terms of Minecraft, it's infinite. It can go from bedrock all the way to the sky limit, allowing fast and easy access up and down. So, to start things off, we're going to hop on this slime block here and press the button. You can see that pistons are being pushed out of the wall with slime blocks on them, launching us upwards. And now we're at the top, travelling exactly 100 blocks up within just seconds. It's extremely fast, and what's even faster is the way down. All you have to do is just jump. You do not take any full damage when you're on slime blocks, and the good thing is you can just hold spacebar, and then you stop bouncing, and then shift completely stops you from bouncing, and then you can just walk off. It is so, so quick. I'll quickly hop in survival mode to prove that you do not, in fact, take damage. I am now in survival mode, as you can see, and we'll do the exact same thing, stand on the slime block and go up. We're not taking any damage whatsoever, as you can see. We are now safely at the top with full hearts and then we can just hop down. I'm not pressing any keys at the moment and we are not taking any damage. Now I'm holding space bar and then shift. The reason why we're not doing shift straight away is because you take damage if you do. All right, now that we've seen it all in action, let's take a look at the redstone. So we'll start off here in the starting mechanism and you can see underneath here all we've got is a button hooked up to a bit of redstone which is powering this repeater, unpowering this torch which then unpowers all of this torch line which will eventually flash this torch on for a brief moment which will power this block here which will extend this piston, which has a slime block connected to this piston, so it will drag this piston into this position here. Now what's also interesting is this repeater is being powered, powering this block. However, at the moment, this block isn't powering anything until this piston extends, pushing this into that position, launching the slime block up. Now this pattern is mirrored on all the way, well, it's repetitive, but mirrored, you can see all the way up, it's exactly the same, just on a different side each time. The retraction of blocks was slightly more difficult as you had to retract this piston here and then this piston. Because you could see before, we did this one and then this one, so we kind of had to reverse the order, which is slightly more difficult. And that's why we had this block here and repeater, where it's not powering anything, but it's quicker than this three tick one. So this one will retract first because this one will turn off first and then a few milliseconds later this will turn off retracting that. So I'll show you that now. So let's press the button. You can see that this flashes on and off and it's gone very quickly so I'll show you that again. It flashes on and off and then you can see that this one extends first and then that one and then this one retracts first, and then that one. This is the same all the way up, it doesn't vary at all. All right, now I'm gonna show you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build this. So, we're going to dig down three blocks, one, two, three, then dig out all of these two high blocks, like so. This gives us plenty of space to work with. Then, we want to remove this block here and replace it with obsidian. Then we want a block of quartz here, or whatever block you want, with redstone dust here, and a block here. This block will have a repeater running out of it, just like that, into a block here, which will have a torch on it. Then 
we want a button on this piece of obsidian and a piston facing upwards just here with a slime block on top. Make sure that you get rid of all surrounding blocks, otherwise it won't extend unless they're immovable blocks. Next, we'll be doing the torch towers. So we want a block on top of this torch with a torch on top of that block. Then we want another block with another torch and you guessed it, another block with another torch. Then we want a block here with a repeater facing that way, running in to a block just there. Then we want a block here, temporary up, uh, remove that block. Then repeater on three ticks, like so, and redstone dust just there. Then we want a piston facing towards us, towards us, like that, just with a slime block on top of it. Then we can place in our second piston, so we want a temporary block here with a piston facing up just there, then we can remove that block there. Now we're ready to do the shaft. So we want obsidian here, here, and here. Then normal blocks, whatever block you want, all the way up to here, like this. Then we want obsidian here, 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 and here. And then we can carry it on for a bit up there. Now to see if the timings are all correct. So we'll stand on the slime block, press the button, and you can see we are in fact launched up. It is working. Okay, now that you've done one layer, I'm going to show you how to do one more layer because even though they are very similar, they're not exactly the same because they're mirrored and you have to link them up. So we're gonna come around to this side and place an obsidian block here with a torch on it. This torch will have a block on it which will have a torch on it, which will have a block on it, which will have a torch on it, one more block, torch, and the final block just there. Then we can have a block here with a repeater on one tick facing that way. Then we'll have our three tick repeater facing this way. This repeater runs into a block here with redstone dust on it. Then we want a piston facing towards us with slime on it. Then we can have our temporary block, piston, and remove that temporary block. Now we can fill in all of this with obsidian, like so, and then go up, for example, three more blocks, and then create a little platform just there. All right, now we can test it out by standing on this slime block and pressing the button. You can see that the timings are all correct and that is a very, very good sign. We like stuff to be correct. Now, believe it or not, that is all of the redstone complete and you can see that it is unbelievably simple and cheap to build. It's easy to remember because of how simple and repetitive it is. So now that you know how to do it, you can carry it on infinitely high. Now unfortunately that brings an end to this video but thank you very much for watching and I do hope you enjoyed. If you did maybe consider subscribing because it really does mean a lot to me. But anyway that's all from me and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.